video we are going to speak about some myth people they carry on uh, and they speak around around in the internet and YouTube etc and for sure it's not your fault to believe in it because uh, there is a big propaganda working in that direction now I get this picture from uh, Google where uh, under the license of a free to use and share uh, as you see it's a person reading the Quran and for sure we, we mean no insult to anyone in what we are going to talk about most of people they say to you especially especially Muslims they say to you that Quran is the top Arabic language ever created and in this video we are going to show that this is absolutely not true first of all the Quran is not only not even close to be top in anything the Quran is a book is full of errors and mistakes starting from grammatical errors and going through spelling errors uh, taking off letters pronunciation is wrong uh, you know there is there is tons of problems in the Quran now because the Quran is a holy book for the Muslims now who dare to say Allah is wrong Allah need to go to school again for sure nobody dare to say so yet there is many people who they are willing to tell you the truth uh, first of all we need to ask ourselves a question when somebody says to me Quran is the top of Arabic well was Arabic exist before Quran or Quran was exist before Arabic if the Quran is a is a, is a top book he should not use actually a language and words and letters is exist before it as simple as that because I'm just using what you human you created not what God created so when God he use a language which is created by man and then he tries supposedly to prove to us that he is good in that language that would be very funny for anyway you are using the language I made for you you could not come with your own uh, number two the Quran is not even an, an Arabic uh, uh, book if we go to the Quran just to give you an example <coughs> The Quran claim, as, a, as an example, chapter 16, verse number 103, uh, that this is a pure, pure Arabic book. This is very pure. Not only, like, it's not just an Arabic. This is very pure Arabic book. Uh, you can click at any translation, which I do not approve any of them. And right now I'm working in the translation of the Quran to give you a very accurate translation. If we go to the, the supposedly the most knowledgeable between those who claim to be a big sheikh, his name is Yusuf Ali, he is from Pakistan. Look what he says about this verse. I apologize, my computer is slow. All right. So Yusuf Ali is saying uh, that. This is a uh, you know simply uh, what he what he mean here he can read it we indeed uh, that they say it is a man that teach him the reason this verse saying that because there was a guy his name is Bil'am and he was supposedly some they say he's a Christian some they say he is a Jew and Muhammad used to go a lot to see him and learn from him so people they said to him you know what what you are telling us is what you learn from Bil'am we saw you he keep going there listening to him because he keep reading uh, his his uh, his book loud uh, so Allah supposedly made a verse here saying to them what well, you know what the tongue of him which mean Bilam is uh, is a foreign because this guy is not even an Arab but this is a pure and a clear Arabic uh, and I find this is very funny proof that this is not Muhammad copying from others because first of all well the one you are talking to is an Arab too and they know if this guy is a, is a is a foreign he speak Arabic or not so the accusation will not make sense if you don't speak Arabic at all correct secondly uh, if if Muhammad is going to him always why Muhammad going to him if this guy don't speak Arabic and why Muhammad he listen to him if he do not know Arabic so either Muhammad he speak more than one language and that will make sense then or the guy he speak Arabic very well and Muhammad is learning from him otherwise people they are accusing him 
that you keep going to Abil Am. So explain to us why, you know. And Abil Am is a very well-known person who read his Bible loud. Now, I believe that Abil Am is one of those Jews who they are Nasara, not Christians. Uh, you know, I made videos about about this before. I don't want to go there. However, if you if you uh, concentrate with me here, the Quran says and insist that this is a pure Arabic, and I will show you how the Quran doesn't make sense at all. And it's not only it's not made by someone have high authority in Arabic. Forget about God now. You know, we know that there's no God behind the Quran, but just to show you that the one who made the Quran is just a copy paste. He is not even he don't know even what is Arabic. What is the pure Arabic? If we go to different verse in the Quran, in chapter six, verse one, uh, verse number seventy-four, we will see that Abraham, Abraham, you know Abraham, right? He's 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 a, he's a, he's a the the father of the prophet in the Old Testament. So his name is coming in the Quran too. His name is Ibrahim. What is called Ibrahim li abihi Azara? Now, Azara here. No Muslim knows what this means. So what they do, they think or they th they thought that the word Azara supposedly is the name of the father of Abraham. So look where the translation comes because of this ignorance. So also, did we show Abraham the power of the law, etc.? Hold on, just hold on. <coughs> Uh, you know, when my uh, Firefox is not functioning correctly, sorry for that. All right. You see the translation? I'm trying to make it bigger so you guys can see it. But when we zoom in, the page flip. All right. Lou Abraham said to his father, Azar. So the Muslims... And that means the Arab, including the Arab, they could not recognize that Azar is not the name of the father of Abraham. All of, us, all of us, we know that the father of Abraham is not Azar. You can go to the Old Testament and you will see this is a very bad mistake. So either we accept that the Quran have a mistake and error in the name of the father of Abraham, which is going to be very funny, or we accept that the Quran is not pure Arabic, and that will be a contradiction for what the other verse saying that the Quran is a pure Arabic. Simply Azar is an Aramaic word mean foolish foolish so if you replace the word Azar with the word foolish you will see that it makes sense he's saying to him foolish are you going to take idols as God that makes sense right but he said to his father Azar what do you mean he said to his father Azar he have two fathers why you want to name why you want to name his father he have one father Imagine I say, and he said to his father James, his father James, like well, there is other father. Either you use the the word father, and that there's no need to say the name, or you say the name, and then there is no need to use the word uh, father, because for sure we will know that this is his father. So his father Azar, because simply he said to him foolish, because Muhammad, the old the old Quran simply was written in a merged book, which is like. Uh, contain Aramaic and Arabic. It's a it's a, a newborn baby of two languages. This is why we see because Muhammad is stealing from people who speak Aramaic, as simple as that. Uh, so he he is copying the story and he do not know what Azar mean. Muhammad himself do not know what Azar mean. They told him this is what happened. He told his father Azar. So Muhammad put it in the Quran Muhammad and uh, Abraham said to his father Azar. But do Muhammad know what Azar mean? He do not know. But yet the Quran says, claim that the Quran is a pure Arabic. And for sure, we can show you a long list of words have nothing to do with Arabic. It's amazing how many, uh, including the word Quran. Even the word Quran is not an Arabic word. The word Quran is coming from the word Qura, which means Qarra, Wara'a. Qarra, which means he's saying by his lips. Ra'a, which means he saw by his eyes. This is an Aramaic word merged together to make Qara'a Quran. Quran actually is not even correct in Arabic, uh, but it makes sense more in in the in the Aramaic. Uh, so, the Quran have nothing to do with being the best, and actually, uh, we have in the history something it's called al muallaqat You can go and search in uh, in Wikipedia, and you will see al muallaqat 
according to all Arab, including Muslims today, they agree that this is the top ever Arabic written, and this is long before Islam. Uh, some of them even in, uh, like a little bit before b b before Muhammad became or claimed to be a prophet. So those al-mu'allaqat was one of the best of the Arabian history about Arabic poet written. And they used to hang it in al-Kaaba, not necessarily the Kaaba of Quraysh. There was 26 Kaaba. So what those people did do, they have a festival. You know, the Arab before Muhammad, they were a lot more civil from Muhammad time. When Muhammad came, he forbid them from making poetry and doing those things. But before that, they used to have a festival for poet. So those people, they make thousands of lines of poet, imagine, and they don't use the word almost twice. This is how powerful they are in making poetry. But the Quran is a very, very funny book full of repeating words. As an example, if I go right now to the Quran, just to show you that this book is nothing but repeating because he have nothing to say. Look, this is the same verse exactly in the front of you. Same verse. I'm not talking about same word now. The same verse. The same verse. Look, look, look. Look. The same verse. 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 The same. Verse, the, same the same. The same. The same. You know, the same verse. Look, where, 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 where is the book? Where is the book? You know, if you do that in Arabic, you get zero. If you repeat the same thing, people will say, look like you are out of words and you have nothing to say. So thank you very much. Your Arabic is very weak. The same. Where is, where is, where is the unique, uh, you know, if we go to the point of those men, we will see how fantastic it is. They don't even repeat the same word twice. And they use unique words and it's very strong in structures. So the Quran is a very, very weak Arabic book. It's not what people say, especially Muslims. Remember, Muslims, they try because their prophet have no miracles. So they try to make the Quran is a miracle. But the fact the Quran is not miracle at all, it is the opposite. And this is why, actually, you can go and read my book. It's called Quran and Science. And you will see how there's tons of errors, scientific errors, historic errors, all kinds of errors in the Quran. As you see, like it's endless. I'm just flipping pages same verse all over the Quran this is not imagine Shakespeare he repeat the same sentence in the same page forever that is not even funny that is even very silly so what we notice here that what what Muslims they speak about that the Quran is fantastic the Quran is amazing it is not really what it is uh, 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 it's, it's a mix of languages and it's mix of uh, uh, foreign words as an example the word Injil, Tabut, Qalam, Noon, Al-Qalamu wa ma yasturun you know if we if we go to to the chapter of uh, 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 there is tons of chapters actually like if we ask the Muslims what they mean they will say to you only Allah knows what do you mean all Allah knows you know the, 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 the funny the Quran says that we we made it to pure Arabic so you can understand but yet the Muslims cannot understand their Quran and there's thousands of interpretation for the Quran and still Muslims don't agree about the meaning of a verse in the Quran. Uh, why Allah he sent the Quran uh, in a pure Arabic? So you might understand. But did the Arab understand? Obviously not. And this is, this is a very clear proof that there's a failure here because if you Muslim, they want to say to me the Quran is very hard top language well that's a failure if this is true however it's failure again even if it's not true why because the proof people could not understand it for it is weak and it is rubbish and it's mixed up there is no connection between here we go and we send this is as a pure arabic okay so what we get from this still people don't understand you know uh Look what the Quran in this verse saying in chapter 41 verse number 44 if we made the Quran foreign tongue they will say we wish if he made it Arabic and clear read it all right had we sent this as a Quran uh, uh, in the language uh, others than Arabic they would say why are not the verses explained in details? Alright? 
So if Allah sent it in, in foreign language, they will not understand. So he had to send it in Arabic. And supposedly Arabic will make them understand, but still they could not understand. And until now, the Muslims could not understand the Quran. And there's tons of verses. They have no idea what it means. And actually, even the Quran itself says that there is a big part of the Quran nobody understands. But yet we just saw the Quran saying that this is a book we send it in clear details to make it clear. But the Quran confirm that there is a huge part of the Quran nobody knows what they mean. Save Allah. Alright? And this is the verse in front of you. Chapter 3, verse number 7. So the Quran is so powerful to the point nobody understand it. And that amazing power and amazing powerful book. That is very funny and very weird. Imagine I write a book and you buy it from me. You go to Amazon, you purchase my book, and then you send me an, a review says, your book is amazing to the point I could not understand anything. That's really amazing, isn't it? So, obviously, they, they, you know, they could not understand the book, and the book is very confusing, and not only people at that time noticed, even the one who was writing the Quran, he said, well, you know what? There is a big part of the Quran. Nobody knows what it's mean. And his, its meaning is hiding, as he translates here in the Quran. What does mean is hiding? I thought the Quran is, is to teach us. What do you mean that this book have a lot of uh, uh, things uh, is, is hard to understand? And those things which are very hard to understand and nobody understand, and by the way, it says, and nobody understand, save Allah. Nobody understand them, save Allah. So what the point of, of, uh, of sending the, the, you know, no one read me and uh, and uh, uh, but no one knows it's hiding meaning except Allah. This is very simple reason to to say. I mean the, the reason of this to say uh, uh, because Muhammad was stealing from others and copying from others, so he do not know what they mean. What they mean? So don't ask me. I have no idea. Like hey, Prophet, what Azar mean? I don't know. Only Allah knows. So. He come with this story of only Allah knows because simply he do not know what is the real meaning for he is copying it from others. And this is a different story. Maybe we can talk about it in our coming Arabic class. Please subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to subscribe. Inform your friends. Our channel is going to be not only to teach you Arabic, but it's going to teach you culture, history, uh, uh, logical. And you will know a lot about the Middle East and about the Arab culture and about what Arabic is about for real. We are not going to make things, uh, let us say, uh, with makeup. We will give you things as it is. And this is the best way to learn. Subscribe. Thank you very much. Share with your friends. God bless.